bring in uh, Landon Donovan of the LA Galaxy, uh, former USA player, joining us. Let me ask the poll question to you, Landon. Feel like a win, a loss, or a tie with yesterday's result? Well, first of all, I'd like to officially welcome you to the bandwagon. <laughs> nice to have you on board. Um, I would listen. We're all emotional when we watch sports, so. When I was watching, my first thought was, yeah, it feels like a loss. But within minutes, when you look at the reality, uh, the reality is that we absolutely control our own destiny. The, the, the U.S. has every chance to go through the U.S. There's a lot of scenarios where we could even lose, and the team would still advance. So um, it still has to feel like a win. At the end of the day, it still has to feel like a win. How does that happen in the last 30 seconds? Well, that's why we love sports. I mean, it happens happened last year in Game 6 with NBA Finals. It happens in all sports in all different ways. And but technically, from a soccer perspective, how, well, did it, how did it happen? Well, it was obviously a mistake in the midfield, uh, a, a giveaway that we don't expect from Michael Bradley. And then you do, you have to give credit to Cristiano for a, a great ball and a great header by Varela. And... It can happen. I mean, it's. Um, I said at the beginning of the tournament, if there was anywhere where we might be a little bit weak, it's it's in the central defense. And uh, this isn't this isn't to bash Jeff Cameron, but he's played forty some odd games this year and most of his career as either a right back or a central midfielder. He hasn't played as a center back that much, and that was a scenario where his inexperience there came into play. I don't know how many people in the world can make that pass. That and I don't think. People, uh, I mean, how great was the pass? Am I overstating Ronaldo? No, the pass was fantastic. There's, there's, there's a few, there's a few more guys than you would think that can make that kind of pass. Mm -hmm. But to do it in that moment in a game like that, and and I mean, it has to come off perfectly. There's, there's not a lot of other places the ball could have gone where you would have got somebody on the end of it to score. So you have to give them a lot of credit, no question. And their goal was to shut down Ronaldo, which they did a great job. For, you know. Yeah, I actually thought, you know, from a from an attacking standpoint, it was a little disappointing the way the lineup came out. But at the end of the day, the team played it perfectly. Graham Zuzzi wide and Alejandro Bedoya wide and Jermaine Jones and Kyle Beckerman gave all sorts of cover to our back line that prevented Cristiano from really doing anything or having any impact on the game. And you could tell how frustrated he was. He's throwing his arms everywhere. He's yelling at his teammates. Um, they did a great job of frustrating him. And then they conversely did a good job attacking when, when they got the ball. So I thought all in all, it was a really good performance. If I had a camera on you yesterday, as, as Ronaldo has the ball, <laughs> yeah. what are you saying? What, what, get, describe the scene. All right. Well, I'm at, I'm at, the, I'm at LA Live, and you know, I'm doing these games for ESPN. So I was watching in my green room by myself, just you know, ready to think about what I'm going to say after this historic vic victory and getting out of the group of death after two games, which nobody in their wildest dreams could have expected. And I walked into the studio where the camera was, and I look up, and Ronaldo's got the ball. So I didn't even see the giveaway in the middle initially. Mm. I just see him with the ball. And then when he hit the ball, you have this moment where you get this pit in your stomach, like, oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And then when Varela <laughs> scored... I was hope because I have no audio at that point. I was hoping that maybe there was something going on. Maybe it was offside. Maybe there was a foul. Maybe you're just waiting for that moment where the play gets called off. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't, obviously. He's Landon Donovan, LA Galaxy star, former Team USA player. Uh, game plan for Germany on Thursday is what? Um, well, I'm still digesting last night, so I'm sure the coaches are too, but uh, the game plan, I think, has to be one that's very smart. But you can't go into a game like that and say, we're going to defend for 90 minutes and try to play for a tie. I think you play the game. You always do. You play to win the game, Dan. Yeah. You know? and, um, I do. I do. You, but this is where I would say you'd be smart. In the second half, you get to the 60th minute, 70th minute, 80th minute, you're still tied. You absolutely have to be smart in the way you play and say, listen, worst case scenario, we tie the game and we move on. Let's not do anything stupid. All right, what's Germany do? They rest their stars? Um, I don't think so. You never know. I mean, they have a team that's so deep. Um, you know, we haven't seen the, the depth of the U.S. team yet 
to a great extent. We've seen a couple players here and there. So my guess is that um, the U.S. team will remain pretty much the same. But Germany has a bunch of players that can come in and be impactful. But I, I, I think there's no question that they want to win this game. Neither team want to face Belgium in the next round. And uh, at the beginning of the tournament, the U.S. would have said, we'll take what we can get if we get out of the group, great. But at this point of the game, you say, listen, let's try to win the group and let's try to face either Russia or Algeria in the second round, and that gives us a chance to get to the quarterfinals. So I think that's where both teams' mindset is. I know I'm sitting a middle seat coach on the bandwagon here, but uh, water breaks, <laughs> Landon, seriously? A water break? How many times have you played in 85-degree heat and 90% humidity? I've done a show in that kind of weather. There was no water break. <laughs> uh, listen, everybody, I know everybody thinks they're great athletes and everybody can handle any conditions and any, but it's <laughs> difficult. You have no idea how difficult it is. So I have no issue with the water break. Now, do you, were there orange wedges on the sidelines too? <laughs> like, did, did the mothers come down and give uh, orange wedges to their kids? You know, it, it kids? totally reminded me of that because when we would play <laughs> when we were young, after like 15 minutes, we'd be looking at the ref, like, can we get the water break now? We got, where's the Capri Sun? <sighs> you know, like, it was great. You got to, you got to help me out when I go to, uh, uh, the bar on Thursday, the uh, soccer fans who I've, I've called them snockers, the snobby soccer fans who won't let okay. me on the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. Um, how do I deal with the uh, the snockers? I think you watch the game at home. Oh, don't even mingle? Don't even mingle. They're not going to accept you, Dan. They will not. Unfortunately. Yeah, but you co-signed me being on the bandwagon. That, that's got to have some value. It was with one small caveat, oh. which is I, I get to host the show one day, which you still haven't offered. Would you like to host this show? No. <laughs> Would you like to co-host this show? Yes. I want to sit where Polly sits. Well, who's going to sit? I got to have a co-host with you. So who are you bringing in? Me and Polly will do it. You and Polly? Huh. Hmm. I don't think... I would say- I would say Fritzy can join, but I think he'd freak out too much. He'd be overprepared. He'd be up all night (laughs) getting no rest. Um, Before I let you go, if we had, if that was a win yesterday, how big, you know, historically, how big would that win have been to beat Portugal? Well, everybody looks at these games on paper. And you say, wow, Portugal beating Portugal. I think this Portuguese team, I think, has been actually very poor. And I think beating Ghana is actually a much bigger accomplishment. You've seen, I think Ghana, they're better. The U.S. team has been, yeah, I think they've been the best team probably in this group when you look at all the body of work. And I think Ghana have been very good. So I think that win is more impressive. When Mm. you say Portugal and Cristiano, it, it carries more cachet. But the reality is, is, that was a game the U.S. team deserved to win and should have won based on everything. And I think beating Ghana in the way they did was actually more impressive. I'll talk to you Friday. All right, guys. Thank you, Landon. That's uh, Landon Donovan, former uh, Team USA.